You're watching America This Morning, America's number one early morning news. Good Tuesday morning. We do begin with new details about a violent incident in New Hampshire that led to a police officer and another man being killed. And the explosion was caught on camera by a news helicopter. Pieces of the house flying in all directions before the blast. An officer responding to that scene shot and killed. The officer who died at the fiery scene is 48-year-old Steve Arkell. He was responding to a report of a domestic disturbance at the house where a father and son lived. Then, as the house was burning, a powerful explosion. What they think is inside, but that, oh, oh my goodness. Okay, we should, all right. What Sky, Sky 5 is over the scene, and what we just saw was an explosion in this house. The house that blew up belonged to 86-year-old Walter Nolan, who was seen being taken to a hospital on a stretcher. His son, 47-year-old Michael Nolan, is the suspected gunman in Officer Arkell's death. But Michael Nolan died at the scene, either in the fire or because of the explosion. Officials say Nolan and his father were arguing for an unknown reason. Back up. Everybody, move. Neighbors call Walter Nolan a friendly guy, but they say they didn't see much of his son. He'd come out for five minutes and go back in again. He never talked to anybody. He, he obviously had issues. As for Officer Arkell, he leaves behind a wife and two teenage daughters. I join all Granite Staters in mourning the loss of Brentwood Police Officer Steve Arkell, who died tonight doing his job, protecting his community. Well, the governor has ordered all flags in New Hampshire to be flown at half staff to honor Officer Stephen Arkell.